I love that. That's like, that's a very me thing, actually. Generic control in the Dr. Gazebo here, back with another Bricky video. Today we're doing yet another Warhammer 40k related video with every single Warhammer Space Marine Legion in a nutshell, which was like one of the most common comments on the last video, which was the 40k lore timeline video. You should react to that video. I'll leave it right up there. I'll see the link down below in the description. Maybe I'll make a Bricky playlist at some point because I do really enjoy his videos. I love the way he talks and the way he explains things and I wish I had him as a teacher back when I was in school because I feel like I would have learned so much much more and thank you to everybody that leaves comments good do read every single one of your comments i have learned so much about warhammer 40k because of all your comments and all these breaking videos and what video i should do next so shout out to everybody that watched these videos and everybody that comments good do read your comments uh did i point up to the top corner if i didn't check it out right up there uh no i actually already did that sorry i'm losing my mind but i hope you're having a wonderful day hopefully i can make it a tiny little bit better like i said I do read all your comments i hope you're subscribed as we are approaching 100,000 subscribers which is a crazy milestone of like it's gonna be something but i need all the help i can get there as soon as i possibly can if i can get there before the end of the year that would be incredible it's gonna be very very hard to do but if we could do that and pull it off it'd be amazing but like i said i hope i can make your day just a tiny little better shout out to the patrons because they allow me to make all these videos and allow me to have a paywall on the channel because i'm here to make you smile and not make you pay nobody's required to pay money to watch my videos and that's how it's always going to be that's how it's always been that's where the prices have always been my patron price has always been three dollars for the last five years now when i was doing three or five videos a week it was still three dollars last december i did a hundred videos and it was still three dollars so let's go ahead and jump into every single warhammer space marine legion in a nutshell i don't know i like the, the gold guys on the internet hi the that means has come the reckoning is begins. it gonna be more gamer subs yep got himself a shaker cup and but does do they have abs though <sighs> After many also, many everybody got mad at me and said that people do care about six packs. Like mad, they My don't. Favorite thing to do. Trust we me. Have ourselves. They don't. A goddamn shaker cup. It's here. The As someone that has had one for years, people do not care. Cup. Do you see the gal on here? If it's, if it's, it's not different if it's a girl. I'm sure there'll be a thing. In Understandable. The Skater, put a thing in the background. Long white hair. But everybody. Absolutely. A bit more toned. Abs. <laughs> Obviously, Bikini hit it. Legally distinct mark on the face. Of course, she wants you to do the diddle thing, maybe. But the what thing? To oh. serve in a glorious army. Legally distinct? I think so. The I don't know what that's Shaker supposed Cup to be. is available now, and you should get it. So he's been doing this for hot. how many years? Thinking, like two what years you, now? What should I put in this? Well, how about my top? 10 oh he doesn't have his own flavor so we got he got a shaker cup first number 10 all of them incredible guacamole gamer far regardless and an addendum for those that are caffeine free this shaker cup is available now in the description of this video so i don't know what the gamer sucks as well uh checkout process is i know most critical just order. joined them i've heard amazing things about them i've never had to gamer subs. truly and a huge thank you to gamer subs for sponsoring and for getting me this beautiful um, beautiful cup go out there and yeah. get it i'm gonna take one more sip for the camera slow it down nice. throw some sexy green music screen. in there and i'll see you guys soon jesus you know what's really crazy is i could do one brand deal a month and double my income but i choose not to for some reason because I obviously don't, Hello, don't do this for the money. My name is Berkey, currently stuck in the walls of the most prodigious school in the Imperium by punishment for falling asleep during class. They shouldn't have done that. God bless the Skull of Progenium. Many of you have come across hey, my that Every Faction Explained video. I Firstly, I react thank to you. it. Secondly, we are here to dig a little deeper. Space Marines are the quintessential poster boys of Warhammer. Oh, absolutely. They're probably they're like the most humanoid. So. They think Space Marines. But also, I did a Sartes a couple weeks ago. Space Marines formed from. 20 separate legions. 18s. We are going to oh. rattle them off in order and give you a quick rundown of each one. A disclaimer, like in my Every Faction Explained video, this is a mix of accuracy and memes. If I say <laughs> the Salamander's Legion specializes in hugging children and petting puppies, they aren't exactly doing that. What are they doing? Mostly. What else do they do? I would like to pet this creature. But you can infer 
that they care about civilians and are a bit kinder Someone than just the average to a space saying marine. No. A space marine being a genetically modified super soldier that's had a million new and terrifying organs shoved into them, refrigerators strapped to their bodies, and are so far above the average human that they are referred to as demigods instead. Each mm -hmm. space marine has a father, unlike you, a Primarch, which is basically an wow. even bigger space marine that was forged in a lab by the god emperor of mankind. That I wonder if he has a Texas Beach dude device. You see everywhere, who is both the leader and now the martyr of humanity. And the also Primarchs like 10 feet tall. 20 sons built in a lab who lead 20 legions of space marines. Are you saying 20? Sons, not from a lab, but rather 18? a dissection table, giving them the powers and skills of their associated Primarch via a gene seed, a special organ carrying the genetic makeup of their Primarch and, you know, their seed. So if Jagatai Khan of the White Scars has the genetic makeup that wants him to go really, really fast, oh, then that's sons, me. the Space Marines, also want to go really, really fast. I want to go really, really, really fast. I'm only referring to the legions this time around. If you're interested in sub factions like, let's say, the Black Templars, then it's not going to be here. However, I do have a. So this is going to cover Black like Templar all video. the. I'd argue 18, it's probably the most accurate one I can think of. It goes through the whole lore, everything about them. It's a very long video. I'll or put is it, it in 20? the description. Just look up Black Templar video in the description. You'll get what you need. And now, <laughs> with the easy explanation out of the way, let us begin with our first. Legion. Dark Angels, the first Legion. I don't know what this is from. Dark Angels. Allegiance? Loyal. What? What do you mean? No, they're not loyal. Lion L. Johnson. Lion. A duelist. A knight. A real asshole, I'm not gonna lie. Why? The single word descriptor? Paranoid. The Dark Angels are oh. a first Legion, hailing from the death world known as Calabam. Their it problem, blew up. Lion L. Johnson is what happens when you try to make the side profile Chad meme into a genuine character. He is a master tier duelist, a brilliant strategist, and an overall. It does kind of look there like me. <laughs> few situations he isn't prepared for, and few fights he isn't ready to lead head on. This makes the Dark Angels have a very Knights of the Round Table vibe. They look like the Knights of Old with these large suits of power armor, often donning robes and hoods. Their names also and call wings. this. They have like Ezekiel, Azrael, Belial, Samuel and so on however okay. the common thing associated with dark angels are the are they named fallen, after angels? a part of their faction that turned traitor I, against the imperium i don't know if those are all angel they names are or not very heavily trying to expunge all knowledge of them from existence huh? fallen what fallen I've never heard of any fallen do you know about the fallen no i don't know about the fallen i know about the fall of reach make sure you have never heard of the fallen they definitely don't exist and if they do exist which they don't we will find them even though they don't exist they love their interrogations they thrive in it lionel Why? johnson is a scorched earth policy sometimes and it's given to his <laughs> sons in force which makes sense considering that when the lion heard of a chaos primarch on a homeworld different primarch whose mom was there he was like Let's nuke it. The Dark Angels are a special group where they formulate themselves into three okay. different factions. The Deathwing Terminators, slow moving, tough failings. Oh, there was the a, there's a game wing, about that. Fast jet bikes and flyers. And the Green Wing, which is your standard Marines. They are a jack of all trades, but not in the sense where they're good at everything, but rather they have a lot of things that are good at specific things. Like instead of 20 people that have a multi-tool, they instead have 20 people with gigantic power tools for every job imaginable. If you like oh, being suspicious okay. about everyone and everything in your surroundings, but you also like to have a it whole so lot cool. of deep night type lore, run the Dark Angels. The One Piece! The One Piece the is one piece? real! Our second lead What's that a reference to? I know it's a reference to One Piece, but like, whose voice is that? What happened to the second oh, legion? You can see, yeah. The numbers all go. Oh, we just didn't skip that 11. one. The Emperor's children. Allegiance, traitor. Primark, Fulgrim, a perfectionist, an artist. I like the a color. Sneaky, sneaky snake. And the single word <laughs> descriptor, perfection. The Emperor's children are all about the pursuit of perfection. Perfection in all they do. Perfection in war, in artistry, and perfection. That's cool. has like the the three and the Their knee. armor is a gleaming pink, purple, and gold. Their That's ships so sick. have spires of gorgeous marvel and gold statues in their honor. Fulgrim is a man who believes the pursuit of perfection is the goal of all things. And I mean, look at him. Can you truly tell me that he is not perfect? The hair. That's true. The features. As Primarchs go, he is the one you look at and if 40k had a guy that would give you the 
best sex you've ever had and never call you back, this is the fucking guy. Which is why this pursuit of decadence led them to the evils of chaos. Yes. Emperor's children are our first chaos. Oh my god. Not just a normal one. One devoted to you guessed it. Slanesh. Oh my god. Of pleasure, god of unspeakable excess. The Emperor's children in their pursuit are now horrifyingly mutated beings through Slanesh's great will. They torture and maim to <sighs> perfection through pain. They screech and attack with sonic weaponry for perfection through sound. And sound? They slaughter Why? aiming for perfection in war. Fulgrim himself lost the battle against Slanesh as a demon sword corrupted his mind and transformed him into the sexy man he was, into the sexy snake he is now. Oh, so he's a natural demon snake. demon Primarch, corrupted and bringing his legion's will by himself. As far as Crazy. Emperor's children go, they are some bad people. They do horrible, horrible things to anyone and everything. In fact, they're such what are you gonna do about them? that their battle cry is for the Emperor, despite being horribly mutated and corrupted. If you've they're ever not even for taken the a little too much of a drug, or, or maybe the music at the concert was too loud and you didn't bring any earplugs or whatever the reason. You just take all those things and you dial it and uh -huh. you dial it and you twist it and the knob breaks. And that is the Emperor's Children. God Iron is Warriors. Dead. Okay. God remains dead and we have killed him. The Iron Warriors. Allegiance, traitor. Primarch, oh, Kurchirabo, a warlord, a siege smith an incel single word descriptor siege. so are like all of the, the trend the of our first chaos ones legion, traders the iron warriors led by primarch percherabo of olympia to understand the iron olympia? warriors though That's a place. one must first understand percherabo a man so bitter coffee beans run for light a man who hates the world and everyone in it who never got recognition for his deeds who hates his brothers and hates their accomplishments even more someone so laughably petty so what incredibly he bitter that he goes full circle to becoming likable. Why? What? Because he's competent. The Horus Heresy, we didn't talk about the Horus Heresy. Intermission. Oh, uh, uh, now we're gonna talk about so it. So Horus was the emperor's favorite yeah. son, right? You know, so the emperor walked into his room. Horus said, Dad, Dad, I just gifted 150 subs to Amaranth, and she said my name a ton, and she <laughs> loved me it. for it. I really think that I might get to meet her one day. And it kind of played out something like this your feelings for her and are not real they are real to me oh and then i'm guessing star wars started playing never out seen it a little bit more like this let the seas boil let the stars fall i don't know if we should do that that doesn't Someone sound fun takes the last drop of my blood yeah so Iron Warriors, the Horus uh, okay. Heresy wouldn't have gotten shit done without Peter Turbo. Imagine an entire faction that is the personification of brutal industrialism, where you serve the they literally look until like dying tanks. breath. You build and you kill and you siege and you kill and you literally summon demons huh? just to take them and trap them in machines and use them as cannon fodder. This is a thing they do. Oh my they God, Tom is the tank engine. And use as shock troops the iron warriors are siege warfare incarnate they are heavy weapons they are tanks they are turrets and they that don't tank looks die. crazy they hate imperials they hate imperial fists do you need a pacifier iron baby no no i don't they are don't bitter what, what is incarnate. that from percherabo and the iron warriors don't serve a lot like animated clips because they like them they serve them because fuck you come on guys Let's go. Not another speeding White ticket. White scars. I'll fight it in court, but I don't think they're going to accept gotta go fast as a medical condition. The White Scars. I don't know who that is. Allegiance. They gotta go loyalist. fast. Primark. Jagatai Khan. A speed demon. A blade strider. <laughs> a roast god. Roast Single god? Descriptor. Speed. Hailing I from Shagoras. The White Scars are all about speed. They love melee, but they love it even more when they are doing it from a motorcycle or land speeder. Or oh. honestly, just... 
going fast. Really damn fast. The me. White scars so are me. Forgotten about a Why? Lot, and that's lore accurate. They are a legion that doesn't seek the recognition or glory they from go the fast. combat they engage in. They engage in it because it's their duty and because they love it. Not in the insane slaughter enjoyment of loving it. But they just like going fast. of the fight. They are known as the laughing killers because they ride into battle with a smile Adrenaline on junkies. their face and a chuckle in their throat. And as you can tell by their Primarch's name, they are Mongolian based. Remove huh. horses <laughs> the and Mongols, replace them with no. motorcycles and land spears and that's your style. They are heavily Good based luck on the times of Genghis Khan and consider this is 40k and everybody's evil. Yeah, that fits. The white yeah. scars are actually physical scars on their body, going back to their heritage on Chagoris. The Khan himself is kind of a dickhead, but but a reasonable one. He thinks well, ahead, he's intelligent, he's patient. He is often so underestimated cool. because he doesn't scream his accomplishments from the rooftops, which is what makes him and the white scars dangerous. Because his you don't know what to expect. At bay, only to be truly shown when the time when he is needs needed. Them. Yeah. The white scars are forgotten. Sh hide your often, strength but until it doesn't it's diminish needed. their accomplishments. All it does surprise those who underestimate them yeah Speed, i love that that's like vibe they got going that's on that's a very really me like thing actually people that's the white scars for you shameless thirst break understandable space wolves wolf, wolf, wolf. Wolf, bitch. the space wolves allegiance loyalist okay Primark? Lehman Russ of biking Lehman Russ Savage, why does that sound like why does that sound familiar single word descriptor Wolf, 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 wolf. There's so many goddamn wolf units. Skater, how many units in the Space Wolves Codex have the word wolf in their name? 13? The Space that's not Wolves bad. are the like sixth legion and hail from Venus, a frozen wasteland of a world with units, their Primarch, but... Lehman Russ. I don't really need to spend a whole lot of time talking about the Space Wolves because it's very obvious who they are. They are the second most like obvious what their shtick is legion what is the in most obvious the 20 legions besides the world eaters when you look at oh. the space wolves behind what do you see do you see vikings in space you've done it congratulations <laughs> you have found vikings in space but they have as much vikings in common with a regular space. marine as an old day viking with, with like a roman soldier you see as a space marine your body is so enhanced that you filter out poison and so you can't what? get drunk the space wolves distill a special mead out of a horrible poisonous plant that would kill a normal human it's like so koalas they, they have fangs in their mouths they sometimes cannibalize their enemies yeah, yeah they, sometimes oh, okay. they eat people because they gain knowledge about them from there and about battle plans to get, get a higher power level got it they're raiders they're vikings but despite all of this they are loyal to their core well, Lena that's good. is an egotistical guy who just shouts stories and tales of his accomplishments everywhere they can but at the same time he was so damn loyal that instead of gunning down his foes he hit him with a fucking backbreaker to show his devotion his devotion to <sighs> wrestling if you want I've vikings had never space, watched Wrestling. You found it. Play the Vikings in space. We're gonna build the wall. Imperial we have fist. no choice. We have no choice. Build that Not wall. Drunk. Build that wall. Build that wall. The Imperial Fists. Allegiance. Loyalist. Primark. Mm. Rogel Dorn. A builder. A phalanx. And he needs a hand. Single word description. Like literally. Is missing a hand. The Imperial Fists are led by Primark Rogel Dorn, their home world of Inuit. However, they themselves are actually a fleet based chapter, with their main source of recruitment coming from an enormous moon sized ship called the Phalanx. Moon the Fists are a chapter you think of when you think of duty. They love to serve. The love okay. to serve and the inability to be moved. Rogel Dorn is an architect, a master builder, and basically a rock in brain and body. A lack of humor or ability to oh, lie so he's serious. shows that he is as blunt as the weapons of war he creates. Not the swords he makes, but like blunt, strong weapons. The fists are the same. Take your archetypical American Marine style look, a buzz cut, a hard sense of duty, and then throw in some power arm and a love for building defenses and you have the imperial those fists. shields kind they of are immovable when you find a spot they're ready to defend you you can't breach them their knowledge of defensive warfare okay is they're unstoppable them, or the i guess heresy would have been so much more effective but thanks to their insane and immovable tenacity the imperial i want to hear about some of their feats today. and let's not forget that iron warrior and imperial fist rivalry want to know why the iron warriors are so bitter these guys are the reason why. Because they're also builders. Thing. Where is he going? What is it? What is What is, is that a cannon? 
why did you throw it off? Hey! Hey, that could have killed me! Hey, guys! We missed! Get another! Get another! Get another? <laughs> are basically two sides of the same coin. One is just a bit more level-headed and got better jobs. If you want to be defensive, to be good at That's... everything space marines are good at, bolters, heavy weapons, vehicles, you want a classic military so fighting So basically course, they're the loyalist side of... Thing. I am person. having a very bad day. This, today, Smith. is one of the worst days. Oh boy. Oh boy, here we go. The Visible excitement, warriors. why? Allegiance. Heretic. Primarch Conrad Kurz, a sadist, a vigilante, the presso espresso. Single word, <laughs> fear. The Night oh. Lords are my favorite legion, hailing from the Stromo. It blew up. Primarch Conrad Kurz. They are a traitor legion from a planet known as the Sunless World or the World of Endless Night. The Stromo is How a does it exist? horrible hive city that is known for being host to some of the worst gang violence, murder, and working conditions around. The only thing keeping the population in check is the suicide rate. The Night Lords. Oh my the God, that the is Primark, insane. A man who believed in a twisted sense of justice and that the only way to make humans compliant is through fear. Fear. The Legion's lesson has been lost on them as their ranks were repopulated by gang members, murderers, arsonists, torturers, and other words I can't say on YouTube as young as 12 years old. Oh. Murderers before they were even teenagers raised to become demigods. Now fear is what they sow and flesh is what they reap. The Night Lords That's are insane. scum. They are the exact opposite of all other legions. They torture and they maim and they flay because they think it's fun. They run away often so they can come back and kill you with more numbers. They <laughs> prey on the innocent and the weak. They kill normal civilians because it's easy and flee oh. any battle where they don't possess that's overwhelming odds. They are the antithesis of normal space marines. They are scum. One time, Literally. a world did not comply to their demands, so they raided one of their ships and brought it into atmosphere. The crowds cheered and clapped as it and appears they, that uh, they had won destroyed the, the crowd. battle. And the airlocks opened, and the skinned and flayed bodies of the crew were thrown down in the populace. In other words... Oh... Uh oh my god a legion of gangers and criminals add together a heavy slavic influence to them oh god what, what was that what is that the reference you have to not done the dishes for blood angels years. so embarrassed when people come over here but what does it matter you bring them over you kill them vampires don't do dishes the blood do angels not? allegiance loyal primarch Sanguinius, an angel a vampire a, dead a vampire ass motherfucker single word descriptor Blood. The Blood Angels are Ninth Legion, hailing from the homeworld of Ball, with their Primarch Ball. Ball's life. The Blood Angels are a tragic oh, that mask tale is so with cool. one of the best Primarchs, one beloved by almost everybody. A genuine angelic so figure who led his people to glory, killed by the hands of the traitor Horus before the Emperor's eyes. The death of their Primarch led the entire Legion to madness. It sounds like you know what's coming. Function ...and created something known as the Black Rage. The Blood Angels degrade over time, experiencing something called the Red Thirst, which gives them a genuine vampiric thirst for blood. As their oh. minds degrade and break down, they get angrier and angrier, becoming berserk killing machines with no other goal than to tear everything in sight apart. But they don't see it as that. They what see do they see it as? There, at their Primarch's demise, with Horus in sight. And to them, it's time for vengeance. That Space Marine over there, that Chaos Space Marine, yeah. that's Horus. Kill him. That Orc War Boss <laughs> over there? It's Horus. Horus. Kill him. That Tyranid Swarm, 1,000 Horuses. Why? Um, Kill them all. Did your toast come out a little bit burnt? Horus sabotaged your toaster. Destroy the toaster. No, don't try the toaster. Do it. Do it. Kill your toaster. Do it. I don't own a toaster. The debilitating disease takes over the blood angels, and it gives them this angelic, vampire, and Catholic-inspired imagery. They have chalices of blood. They rest in coffins and can even Airbnb use psychic coffin. powers to sprout angel wings from their bodies. They are a tragedy through and through, and the only thing that will look more tragic are the mangled bodies of those they come in contact with. What would you mean, Horace? Iron hands. Hey, honey, we forgot to mention, we're gonna take your job away. 
The Iron I, Hands. Robots? Loyalist. Primarch? Ferris Manus, a machinist, an inventor, and not a great head on his shoulders. Why? Why is he not? Single gonna... word? Bionics. Bionics! Robots! Oh! The Iron Hands what are was that the a reference planet to? of Medusa and their Primarch Ferris Manus. Does Ferris Manus have an iron hand? You fucking know he's got an iron hand. The Iron Hands believe that the Makes flesh sense. is weakness. But just We've all heard that answers, before. But all the things that made them demigods, replacing some of the flesh with bionics, will allow them to serve the Emperor more. They go harm into vehicles and dreadnoughts. Dreadnoughts being giant walking sarcophagi that have wounded space marines piloting them from the inside. Vehicles, Wait, why are they wounded? Metal upgrades. These are the things that make up this legion. Their tech marines have servo arms sticking out from all directions. They have a wide array of mechanics and extremely often That's replaced really cool. with metal ones serving all kinds of different functions to deal with their enemies. The Iron Hands are also not particularly nice. Uh, they're kind of assholes. I mean, kind marines of? are already normally pretty big assholes, but, but they, they're a little bit up there because of their... Ugh, flesh ugh, civilians made of flesh ugh, oh ugh. because you see the flesh is, is weak flesh is corruptible so, what do they do when they see their the own flesh strength of the machine is pure and cannot so easily it's almost like corrupted we've so if you want met people that group before who that faction no fetishistic vibe to them that love their vehicles and their walking coffins hit up the iron hands you understand commander the 11th I legion was never here legion 11 <laughs> Uh, did we skip it? Please stand by. May have never actually existed. Why, well, hello there. I have returned from, um, touching grass. Oh, don't do I, that. I, I'm pretty cool. Let me guess, the 11th Legion is what With the, the other one you play as? Now let's continue our Warhammer lecture. This ruffles my jammies! World Eaters. Okay, so what's going on here? I am a super the world. Wait a minute, is that Dragon Ball Z bridge? Heretic. Primarch Angron, a butcher. Oh, he's angry. A slaughter, I remember him. Extremely earth shatteringly, unreasonably fuck ass man. Single word. <laughs> that was if the Abraham Text hey, Beast device. Hey, you. It had to be it. Yeah, you. Are Me? you mad? Do you just. Not really, no. Angry video game nerd. Do you want to murder everything in sight? No, to not really. Rewarded for doing so? No. Then you should join the world eaters. No, Home I'm good. planet of Nuceria and Primarch Angron, who, if the name didn't suggest, is real fucking angry. And they also Angron eat worlds. was raised a slave, forced to fight in gladiator pits. When he refused, they shoved old world tech into his brain. So that if he ever felt any emotion other than anger, it caused him extreme pain. So All he can only be angry. to be like their dad also put a version of these nails in their brain. So now you have an entire legion who literally feel unimaginable pain if they are feeling any emotion but other angry. than anger slap them with a freight that's train so of armor crazy. two goddamn chainsaw axes and you can that's see pretty, what's gonna that's happen cool. it's no wonder they're corrupted by corn they're honestly oh, well. a surprisingly sad Skulls for the skull that throne, i actually for the screwed blood up and assuming that they were all just angry murderers i, I mean they are but they didn't start out that way. Their corn corruption degraded their intelligence, their free will, and made powerful warriors into arguably even more powerful warriors, but blunt, like frothing at the mouth psycho warriors. The world eaters, like I mentioned okay. in Space Wars, they, the they, they wear their concept on their sleeve. They are angry, they wanna kill things, they wanna kill you, Me? and maybe some what of their friends. And that's, that's the faction. They're red, they're mad, they're gonna run at you and cause death. If you like that, you play the world. Why would you want that? Or you like it because they were, you know, at one point a lot better than that. Most of Warhammer was a lot better than that. I was once a lot better than that. That was when I was in college. I didn't finish college and I neither did Angron. I was in college for five days. Ultramarines. The Ultramarines. Allegiance? Loyalist. Imagine Primark, that. Rabute Gilliman. Is that a that's fire how, yeah, sword? That's how an analyst, a diplomat, a blueberry boy scout. Single word descriptor, duty. When you see space yeah. marines on a box or just space marines in promotional material, it's notice they're always colored blue. These are the blue space marines. The, these ones here, the ultramarines, who hail from the world of Macrog with their Primark Rabute Gorilla Man. Ultramarines are, are the white bread of space marines. The, the grilled chicken with oh, okay. salt and pepper. This is by no means an insult. They are plain Jane, but that's also because they are so goddamn good at their job. That their they don't need to be to the girls. Paramount, but so is their ability for leadership. 
Gilliman for a while was a damn boring Primark for all the reasons he was great because no matter how hard you try you don't win a war without logistics without supply lines without trade routes without yeah. infrastructure and economy That's you don't win true. anything without all that stuff and Gilliman knows it which is why he has one of the largest standing empires in the Imperium mm. named Ultramar which is why his sons are the most recognizable of all the space marines which is why the only thing that rivals the weight of their victories is the weight of their egos they are oh at my everything God. and bad at nothing they are great at everything other legions can do other things better than them but they are good at, at everything. everything the most interesting they are thing the jack of all the trades is their characters as they are all now inflicted with various amounts of ultra depression for many reasons Gilliman why is at the time of recording the only playable primark currently on the tabletop and the only one that has returned to the 41st millennium for the loyalist side he took one wait he's the only one become and immediately wanted to fucking die. Being forced to lead everything he once hated, an Imperium rotten to its core with his sole responsibility to save it is kind of what makes him interesting. They are a perfectly standard legion with perfectly standard ideals and great the, the if you want Indianapolis a simple, cult. clean <laughs> slate. Uh-oh. Death Stinky. Guard. I wonder funny who. Poop. poop funny. Woo! The Death Guard. I wonder who they... Heretic. Primark or Tarion? What a god? A reaper, a poison, an ungodly stench. Single word descriptor? Rot. The Death oh, Guard hail who's from that Barbaros. remind you of? It blew up. Primark Mortarium. The 14th Legion were known for their incredible resilience to damage. That's a lot of damage. Where the Imperial Fists were defensive thanks to tactics and posturing, the Death Guard were just resilient because they could take a punch or, or a gut shot or, or a cannon Ooh. to the chest and, and just keep on moving. They are slow, yet they are resistant, which was only confounded oh. as a Death Guard captain Typhus, codename Dickhead, sold them out to Nurgle, god of rot huh. and decay. Now, the Death Guard are a Nurgle worshipping infected legion whose Imagine ability to that. feel pain and take damage has all but just gone away. They wade through gunfire, able to kill normal marines 10 times over and continue unharmed, all while spreading rot and disease in the name of their dark, very stinky master where the death guard <laughs> enter plague spreads people get sick and they die they spread debilitating disease to all around them why would a legion need to be anything more than very tanky when their enemies are falling over puking firing out of both ends and having oh, their skin oh. peel off just by their presence entire worlds infested with a zombie rot that swarms is swarms of insects that eat flesh and metal this reminds you of uh, chainsaw man for some reason i can do right now painfully allowing the disease they spread to take its toll before they reap the lives they believe belong to them what do you and mean belong model Ooh. dude the man is baller dude imagine having to paint a that. gigantic moth with a gigantic scythe come on now it's pretty cool the death guard for my next thousand trick. sons i'm gonna fucking kill myself the thousand what? sons allegiance heretic primark magnus the red a scholar a sorcerer Fucking nerd. Single word descriptor? <laughs> Magic. The Thousand Sons hail from their homeworld of Prospero, with their okay, primary name was the Red. The final of our four major Chaos God factions, the Thousand Sons are disciples of Zeech, the Changer of Ways. Heavily inspired by their Egyptian theming, the Legion themselves oh, are slaves to the god of trickery and change. Most of them no longer even having a physical form. Reduced what do you to mean? Just dust piloting suits of armor at the whim of a sorcerer leader the thousand dust. sons do not deserve their cleaner? fate there's a common joke that magnus did nothing wrong this is untrue he has done <laughs> much wrong however he is very sympathetic mainly because the space wolves and lehman russ sought to end their rivalry through the annihilation of their legion oh, escaping yeah. only through the assistance of the changer of ways and forever so changed that's why because of it is either join magic or is their gone. main tool take some lovecraftian style abilities the eyes everywhere and potent spells to be cast at their foes where these are bolts of psychic lightning reversing time itself opening up portals to unreality or changing the very fabric mm. of the universe the thousand sun sorcery knows no bounds and they are very good at it if you're a fan That's of like wizards your classic style of spellcaster and you want a ton of them combined with a tragic backstory and a primarch who like mortarian looks fucking baller he the thousand suns really are cool. for you but that also you're means probably asshole. harder to There's uh no way, you're a fucking cheater you're such a sore loser you're a cheater my dad works at nintendo <laughs> the 
sons of Horus, yeah. or the wolves, or the Black Legion. Allegiance, heretic. I wonder Primer, why. Horus, surprise. The warlord, a treasured friend, or the traitor himself. Single word descriptor, assault. The Sons of what? Horus are the formal name of Horus's legion hailing from the world of Chthonia. The Sons up. of Horus themselves were assault troops. The strength of their attack was some of the most powerful in the legions. While the White Scars may favor speed for their strikes, the Sons of Horus were known for their overall offensive power. It was even said that if the Sons of Horus met the Imperial Fists, they would be at a stalemate for eternity. However, really? the Sons of Horus are no longer- Imagine fighting for an because, eternity. Well, Uh-huh. <laughs> mm-hmm. They are now instead the Black Legion, led by Abaddon the Despoiler, who claims to succeed where his father failed. The Black Legion are still an Can offensive and assault-based force, but they act much like the Ultramarines, but for chaos. Your standard black and Which black makes sense because Marine who are horse. known for recruiting <laughs> in all different kinds of avenues. Anyone can become a member of the Black Legion. Any benefits? Anyone can swear allegiance to the War Master. You gain favor by not just one, but all four gods. Equal. Really? Their famous line, let the galaxy burn, is the best way to describe Why it. Why would they want that? what the outcome is. So long as the Imperium dies, the Black Legion has done its job. They are a legion. So they're like the flagship for and spite traitors. With a Makes clear sense, goal in everything. mind, as the Dark Gods are calling, and the Black Legion are sure to answer. Uh -oh. Do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? No. It wasn't fucking optional. The word Bro bears bear. allegiance, heretic. Really. Mark Lord Gar Aurelius. Well, they look a very Egyptian. A fanatic, a choir boy. Single word descriptor, zeal. If the Black Legion answer the call of the Dark Gods, what if instead you decide to call the gods first? Well, then the word bearers are uh... for you. The 17th Legion led by Primarch Lorgar on the planet of Colchis. Don't worry, it's still there. Is it actually it JK blew up? Okay, well. With worshiping the Emperor of Mankind. A lot of a planets God, blow up. Because there's a divinity, lot of them, so. He was not worthy of worship because, you know, he raised their equivalent of Jerusalem to the ground for daring to worship him. Like, could you imagine if, if God actually showed up and was just like, Jerusalem is stupid. It just, it just destroyed the whole thing. Romans like, did it first. Head. But there are gods that want worship. Okay, religion and there are not, no, no, no. those who do. The word bearers are chaos worshipers to a T. All chaos gods they specialize in demonic rituals the summoning of demons and the mutual possession of their own troops they welcome demons to their bodies to fight as one they exalt Why? the dark gods themselves for aid and guess what they answer in the world of 40k Let's summon Satan demons doesn't oh, just no. call you back he hops in his gt mustang and yeah, he crashes on your couch in the though. world of 40k your rituals will end with genuine results the word bearers know this they know through sacrifices through devotion through dark baptism the gods what is dark will baptism? answer and they will be what do they baptize you with so they use it they bring forth demons they bring forth possessions they bring forth the power of the neverborn the damned and those that hide in the dark to bear against the imperium lorgar sits there smiling as the truth he always knew the existence of gods and the importance of faith is a reality and it is a tool he is using to rend the galaxy. Oh, Dear great. Sir, Salamanders. Adam. Fire! Exclamation mark. Fire! Exclamation mark. Help me! The Salamanders. Allegiance. Don't, they're like the pet puppies, right? Vulcan. A forge master. A behemoth. That hammer a looks very crazy. huggy boy. Single word descriptor? Fire. The Salamanders uh, hail from Nocturne, a volcanic planet home to their Primarch Vulcan. They are the largest of the space marines, not due to numbers, but rather size. How Vulcan, big? It, it, he is an enormous slab of beef, by far the <laughs> largest How tall is that? of the Primarchs. However, don't let his size fool you, as he is also 
the kindest. Some really? Some have the juxtaposition of looking frightening, being larger than other Marines, while also boasting an ashy, like, coal color skin and blazing red eyes. That's so While cool. simultaneously carrying around all manner of flame weaponry. So your average oh, civilian might be brother, stupid, get the heavy but flamer. in reality, they are by far the kindest of all the legions to those Aww. civilians. Vulcan believes that to safeguard the Imperium is to, at the end of the day, I mean, safeguard its people. So unlike other other legions who put That's their lives typically far like and above the, the, the movie human, plot the kind of motivation significantly more time trying to save them often taking numerous losses but is that, by doing yeah but i say so. that should be their downfall as well they're forgers and blacksmiths maintaining their own weapons and crafting versions That's of pretty good. they're not reliant very rare privilege of being able to see their families even after becoming a space marine they they care which is the why are they part. able to have because families the seven and space a half marines foot tall giant with flaming red eyes who just reduced a traitor to bubbling metal says you have nothing to fear young citizen take my hand if you enjoy fire melting things and being the nicer of the marines the nicer of the Sour marines are for you i don't know the white scars are pretty lit raven guard saga sneak attacks don't work oh, if you yell it out loud the raven guard allegiance Loyalist. Primark, Corvus, Corax. A raven, a shadow. Very emo. An industrial dance DJ. Single word descriptor, stealth. The Raven Guard oh. are the final Loyalist Legion at 19 and hail from the planet Deliverance blow up. with Primark, and then Corvus, blow up. Corax. If it hasn't been made clear enough already, the Raven Guard are oh, stealth specialists and proficient in all manners of assassination. Despite this, their signature no. wing jump pack and double lightning claw look is, well, not very stealthy. No. They are named after, of course, the Raven and embody the entire concept of it as a herald of death. They are stealthy, patient hunters that have no problem with, with waiting and waiting and waiting until the moment to strike is at hand. It's not easy being a stealth faction when your stealth involves people in one ton of power armor, but they uh -huh. find a way. That Which, more than anything I feel like should you not would feel be like used to show how ridiculous 4K is even though it is, but rather to show how good the Raven Guard are at their jobs. It's not about them sneaking around you without being seen, but it's also about them having lied in wait for so long that it wasn't until they were in striking distance that you even realized they had been there. And also, that's you want, scary. You know, edgelord Marines with a long black haircut, pale skin, yes. ravens everywhere. If you want to field assassins and snipers abound, do like snipers for you. It could be in this Alpha Legion. It could be you. It could be me. Meet the spy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's my most viewed video. The Alpha Legion. Allegiance? That color is so cool. Wait, why is he? Alpharius and Omega. They have twins? Saboteurs, destabilizers, they're in your walls. Single they better not be. Espionage. Finally. Oh, that's why I meet the spy. Legion, the Alpha Legion, led by Alpharius and Omegon. The only Legion oh, Alpha from Omega. two Primarchs who were split as twins. The Alpha Legion are like more. heretical, we think, and specialize in destabilization of society and armies. Their entire by espionage is the Hydra, because when you cut off one head, two more take its place. All of the Alpha Legion look exactly like their Primarch. Olive skin, shaved head, all claim to be Alfarius. All are liars. They make the largest use of sleeper cells and cultists in the chaos space. So how do you know which one's real one? It's extremely easy to take over a planet when you poison our water supply, <laughs> burn our crops, and deliver the plague onto our houses. Where the Raven Guard used stealth and sabotage to invade their enemies, the Alpha Legion refer to weaken them over time with sleeper agents. Impersonation. How do you do that? How do you impersonate you somebody? A hardcore a spy movie or, or Cold War level espionage. Being like you think they would stand out only an honor being alfarius is a requirement there's a story of someone chasing down an alpha legion agent for years upon years and when they finally catch up with them and they see them they see that the agent is wearing the same face as their pursuer because this was the plan all along to kill him and take his spot. We're talking oh, and he knew that was gonna happen? Surgery. We're talking hacking, we're talking political assassination and impersonation, everything. So, okay, so that's how they blend in. Name, in. 
only. Because being a strong stoic warrior is not what the Alpha Legion is interested in. In fact, the Alpha Legion is interested in you not even knowing that the Alpha Legion is a thing. I am Alpharius. You From your own. are Alpharius. We are all Alpharius. I, I, I don't want to be. His glorious army. I don't want to be. Thank you, everyone. I don't so want to be that. For watching this video. I hope you learned a little something. I learned something. a lot. I hope if you were on the fence about what Space Marines you wanted to field, you would now have a better idea of I what do. you want to play. The White Scars are pretty dope. Shaker. It's on sale. It's on pre-order. It's ready to go. Just get it. Just get it. Use code Brick. It's in the description. Just get it. And a huge thank you. I to wonder when Moist Critical is going to come out with his uh, gamer subs. On the YouTube gamer subs. Hey, Your they help here. all these thank YouTubers. You, ton. you are all very generous. And uh, oh, it's a massive props to them. Answer a question. Have you ever attempted to touch grass but end up touching the Destiny 2 loading screen? Mm. Oh, damn it. I just. I have not. Yeah. Oh, this video was one year ago. I thought this game I thought it was two years. So come on. Obviously you're a skater. Obviously you're a skater. Oh man, another breaky video. I think this is the fourth or fifth one I have done. I enjoy every single one of them. I learned so much and I'm gonna learn even more from reading your comments. So leave some down below. Hope you're subscribed to all these future breaky videos. I don't really have a set schedule. It's just kinda like, you know what? I wanna do some more breaky content. I'm gonna learn more about Warhammer. And then I just like, I go and record a Warhammer video from Bricky and I absolutely love them. I wanna do more. This one right here seems, this one kinda caught my interest, but it's not a breaky video. I just realized that. So I don't know. Let me know what the next video should be. And if you see when you agree, but definitely like it as well. Cause I will definitely see that when I go do and decide what the next breaky video or next Warhammer 40k video is going to be like I said I did a Sartes a couple weeks ago if you want to check my reaction to that out it's on the channel but I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day I hope I made it a tiny little bit better but until the next video take care and cue the music